Hey everybody, it's First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich. Today is one of those scorching days where temperatures are going to be pushing almost 90 degrees. And when we get heat waves like this, I inevitably get the amount of tweets, Facebook posts, Snapchats, Instagram images of dashboard temperature readings. Here's the thing, the thermometer in your car is completely wrong and I'm gonna tell you why the reason why is when we have the air temperature the temperature that comes from the airport or another official reading it comes from a weather station that is completely shielded from sunlight in fact we want to measure the air temperature just like when you go to the doctor to get your temperature taken they put the thermometer under your tongue or they do it other ways they're trying to get the internal temperature and just like the thermostat in your house it's in the middle of your house not near the stove not near the door it's trying to measure the temperature of your house as a whole so when we take the air temperature it's exactly that the temperature of the air the temperature gauge in your car unfortunately is mounted behind your bumper and next to guess what the engine which is several hundred degrees Fahrenheit and your car is a metal box above a black asphalt road all of which make the temperature readings read way too warm in fact the best way to measure temperature is in complete darkness we do not want any sunlight touching the sensor so much so that most thermometers have what's called a radiation shield to protect them from direct and indirect sunlight so just a word of caution those temperature readings in your car are not very accurate at all in fact they're way too high and in the summer it's kind of fun to see how high they get but here's the thing that makes them dangerous in the winter time when it's raining and that temperature gauge says 35 degrees just remember it might actually be below freezing and that rain could be freezing rain